Hello everyone, my name is Martin and I'll be host through this video guide on how to use PowerShell to do automation with Microsoft Azure. In this video series I want to show you how I tackle the problem or the, the task of doing automation with Microsoft Azure. I'll be tackling this just like any other automation task I'm doing out there, so a lot of trial and errors, but I'll show you how I do it and maybe you can learn something from that as well. I'm by no means an Azure expert, so I will be making mistakes in this one, and I hope that's uh, quite alright because I won't be editing anything of it out. It's a learning experience for me, and probably what you're gonna see is how it, just a regular consultant is doing automation work. So it is a new technology for me. I have been working with Azure before, but using this PowerShell module is something I only just started with, so I'm quite new to it. And um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Hopefully it will be going just fine, but I'll show you every command I'm using, it will be recorded on the fly. So everything I'm doing, you will be able to see it. So the goal I have about this series is to create a fully functional um, virtual machine in Azure. It will be creating a resource group in Azure, network security group, the virtual machine itself. Uh, hopefully we will be able to configure it as well. So my first goal is to do a domain controller in Azure. So it will be fully functional as a domain controller. We'll be creating some service accounts, some organizational units and so on. So it will be functional as a regular domain controller running in Azure. I will try and keep my videos down to like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, just to don't have them running too long. It can be hard to find time to actually view them if it's like an hour long. Um, but that's the goal of it. Some may, may be a bit longer as well, some may be shorter, we'll just see how it goes. So I haven't done any design work uh, beforehand, so we'll just try and open PowerPoint and see what prerequisites I, I have for this video series so we can follow along. And also just outline what we actually have in mind. I mentioned it before, but let's just get it down on paper and I'll share the PowerPoint on GitHub along with any of the code I'm writing. So let's go into PowerPoint. So the first thing here is prerequisites. What I have in mind here for prerequisites is you need to have PowerShell running PowerShell Core. So if I can spell PowerShell Core. I'll be using Visual Studio Code. I'll be using GitHub, so a GitHub account. And of course, Git source control is needed as well. And a Azure a tenant uh, as account is needed as well. Okay. Let's get this out of the way as well. So let's do another slide here and do a bit of smart art. Let's put in a hierarchy just so we can outline what we actually have in mind. So the first thing we need in this is an Azure tenant. So under this tenant we'll be creating resource groups. And on the resource group, we're creating a resource group for networking. We're creating one for storage. Oh, that one. And we'll be creating one for our environment. So that could be virtual machines or maybe we find some other services as well we need to put in here. So that's why I'm calling it environment. And on the environment, we have virtual machines. So we can put a domain control in here. And on the networking, we'll be having virtual networks. And we'll be having network security groups. And on storage, we'll have storage accounts. Right. 
So there's a lot of other stuff running in Azure as well. So you could have, uh, for instance, Azure Automation down here, which contains automation accounts, and run books. And that's something I know too much about yet, but it's something I want to dig into as well. But it's just to give you an example that there's a lot of other stuff going on in Azure in just the resource groups and the virtual machines. All right, but let's get the first things done. So let's jump into Visual Studio Code and get our PowerShell module installed. So let's just find this PowerShell module on Google first. So it's the Azure AC PowerShell module. If you need to read any of the documentation, this is the place to go. Well, let's jump into Visual Studio Code so I can find the Azure module. Let's just show you what I have right now. Get module list available. So you see, I don't have many modules installed. I have Pester and I have the university dashboard. That's about what I have on my user. So what I want to do now is find the module, find module AC. I want to pipe that to install module and do it on a scope that is a current user. So it's only installed to me. You should search the PowerShell gallery for, uh, for the module. And you see here it pops up, it has been found. You just hit A to install everything. And while it's doing that, we can set up our GitHub account because it will take a bit of time. So here I'm logged on to my bit, uh, GitHub and I want to create a new repository. So I'm going to create new, call it Azure Demo. It will be a public account. So it's, this is what I'll be sharing with you guys. And I just need to put it in the right place. And I can hit create the repository. So now the, the repository is actually created. It's pretty fast. You see it's still installing the, the PowerShell module. So let's save this PowerPoint while we're waiting. Save as. I'm just going to put this on my desktop for now. We call it Azure Demo. So we might be putting extra stuff in there later on. So we have that saved. Now we just need this one to complete. Should be done in a bit. Just copy the address here as well. Okay, so now it's done. So do the same, get module and list available. You can now see we have got a lot of AC modules installed here. That's the one we're going to be using in this video series. So let's do a git clone. So if we had on the Mac, you hit shift and command P and P. You can take git clone. I can paste in my URL to my, my GitHub repository. And it will ask me where I want to save it. So I created a git for vlog here. I'm going to select that one. It will ask you if you want to open the clone repository. And yes, we want to do that. And let's just create a template file here. So welcome.ps1. So do a write output. Welcome to this video series about automation in Azure. I'm gonna save that one. And you can see here on the, on the left side, it pops up that you have a change to your source control. So you can see the file has been added. So I can state this file. I do an initial commit to my GitHub. Hit the, the check mark here for committing. And I then need to push it out to the repository. So now it's pushing the source code out. It should be done. 
So go here and refresh the page or just hit code. You see you have the welcome.ps1 bar. And I did promise you I want to share everything with you. So I'll just take my PowerPoint here. Copy that one. Go to my Git repository. You can see here we have the repository name now. And I have to hit paste. There we go. So it's pasted in. If we go back to Visual Studio Code now, you can actually see we have a new change. We can state that as well. You can see edit PowerPoint file to repository to repeat rebuild. State it. Let's push it out. Should be the only short push as well. Let's refresh the page. And we have it. So this is the end of the first uh, part of the series. There will be a lot more coming on. Next time we'll be starting on uh, doing the resource group, which is the first part, at least in my mind, to doing the, the automation. So stay tuned and hope to see you there.